Hello guys, in this video I am going to teach you stability difference of phenol and phenate ion. Firstly, we need to identify phenol and phenate ion. This is the structure of phenol. The molecular structure of phenol is C6H5OH. This is phenol. Now we need to consider about the structure of phenate ion. The structure of phenate ion, just like this, you need to remove one hydrogen atom from OH group of the phenol. This is phenate ion. Let's consider about the structure of phenol. When we consider about the phenol, phenol don't have resonance structures. So, stability of resonance structure is less than phenate ion. Phenol don't have resonance structures. Just now we need to consider about phenate ion. When we consider about phenate ion, phenate ion will have few resonance structures. I will show you guys how to draw them. Initially one lone pair of electrons jumps on this carbon and this 5 bond jumps on the adjacent carbon as a lone pair of electrons. I will show you the result as a resonance structure. This is the structure. There is one lone pair electron and these two five bonds will not be changed and there will be a double bond with oxygen. This is a one of resonance structure of phenate ion. Now we need to consider about the third one. This lone pair of electron jumps on this adjacent carbon and this five bond is broken as a lone pair of electron on the adjacent carbon and keep in mind guys you need to use resonant arrow to draw all the resonant structures our third resonant structure should be like this There is a lone pair of electron and this 5 bond will not be changed and this 5 bond also will not be changed. Now in fourth resonance structure, this lone pair electron jumps on the next carbon and this 5 bond will be changed as a lone pair of electron on the very next carbon like this. And this one is our fourth resonance structure. Like this, this is our fourth resonance structure. As our final resonance structure, this lone pair of electron jumps on the very next carbon and the five bond between the carbon and oxygen should be broken on the oxygen atom because the electronegativity of oxygen is higher than carbon. Then our last resonance structure of phenate ion should be like this. According to the resonance structure, you can see there are about four resonance structures in phenate ion. But when we consider about phenol, there is only one stable structure. Okay, guys, now we know phenol, phenate ion has five resonance structures and phenol has one resonance structure. So, 
when the resonant structure is high basically number of resonant structure is high of one molecule that structure or that molecule should be more stable than other molecule so phenate ion is more stable than phenol stability is high when we consider about phenol and phenate time stability of phenol is lower than phenate time because of that reason phenol rapidly dissociated into phenate ion in a solution like this because of this reason the acidity of phenol is higher than the acidity of h2o Acidity is high more than H2O of phenol. 